Hi, good evening to all of you guys. Let's start with the session. So the purpose of the session is very clear. Advantage of starting early, likewise you can see on your screen. So we'll keep the session light, interactive, and a uh, few tips from my side and uh, one hour session and your queries. I'll try my level best to answer your queries. So guys, let us start. Let us start. So advantages of starting early. So let me start with your uh, ideas first. Then we'll see what we have to do. So guys, uh, first of all, uh, let us define this word innocence. A very simple word. We all are aware of it. And uh, generally our parents also use this uh, compliment as a, comp uh, as a compliment. Uh, when we were in uh, nursery, KG, etc. Very innocent boy, very innocent girl, chubby chubby, guchu guchu, kind of words. So what is innocence? As far as now you are all, uh, I think in pre-final year or so, or sixth semester, seventh semester. But uh, let's define innocence in your own words. Uh, my definition as far as you all are concerned, look at it. My idea of innocence in your language. Innocence means what you want. A decent package. A decent house slash car. A decent city to live. And last but not the least, the best life partner in the world. Am I correct or not? I'm, uh, I'll not be able to help you as far as the last point is concerned, but I can definitely help you in above uh, stated points. Yes, uh, best life partner in the world. I think this is called innocence. We all are very innocent while framing all these wishes. And uh, the best one, as sent by the God. Guys, have you seen the movie Inception? Yes or no? The best one, the best uh, way to define the innocence that you want to get into IMS A, IMS B, or IMC, or straight away to Harvard University. Am I correct or not? Are you getting whatever we are discussing? Yes or no? Press S only. No need to write the complete word S. Uh, yes. Hmm. Uh, straight away you want to get into IMC, B or C. That's, this is called innocence, pure innocence. How come? This is innocence. <laughs> so maybe I can see, I cannot see smile on your faces, but you all are uh, smiling. Uh, looking at the last line of the previous slide that you want the best of the best life pattern on this planet Earth, which is complete myth. There is no such thing. It is only possible in Doraemon or Shin Chen serials. Guys, nice quote. Oh, one person, Ballman, uh, he said that a vision without strategy remains an illusion. Let's say if we keep on wishing these so-called innocent wishes, will be called innocent, we will not be able to achieve anything. So vision without strategy is an illusion, guys. So moving ahead. So what is the reality? Why we are not able to? So reality is something else. You want uh, all the best uh, for yourself, but reality is something else. Reality says that uh, you are busy with your college, you are busy with your project, your sports day, and the th fourth point, uh, which is, uh, you can very well see your 14 Februarys. That is called plural. I have mentioned the plural word here. Uh, we all are pretty engaged in 14 February. And other engagements which, which cannot be revealed right now on WW or internet or right now we are discussing. Am I correct or not? On the one hand, we want to get into the best B school. On the other hand, uh, your college, your project, your sports day, festival day, tech day, and so many other things. Reality is something else, right? So what to do now? We are really confused. Which way to go? So guys, final judgment. Sometimes uh, you are in a very highly optimistic mode and you conclude that 3-4 months are sufficient enough to smash, not crack. Crack is for the uh, you know below average students. I'm talking about you, the genius. So 3-4 uh, months are sufficient enough to smash the crack. And what about other? Other exams. Don't know about the other, but we only think about CAT whenever we're in pre-final or final year. So verdict. So my verdict is this much time is not really sufficient guys. Three, four months are not at all enough to crack an exam like CAT. So, but why? Because it is very difficult to manage preparation for any competitive exam along with your regular studies. Am I correct or not? 
it's very difficult to manage because nine to five is your college, eight to five is your college. Then you have got your personal life. Then you have got your Facebook also. Then you have got nothing to do, and you've got uh, coffee. And some of you would be uh, enjoying C two H five. I'm in Chandigarh right now. Weather is quite chilly here. I don't know how many of you are from uh, northern India, but the weather is quite chilly here. And uh, in upper plains, uh, we have seen the snowfall. So weather is quite chilly. I don't know the weather about your place. So how come? Uh, how can you be so positive over the entire episode just by wishing that you want to do uh, best B school, uh, get into best B school, decent pay package? So guys, what is uh, your idea of pay package, annual pay package? My idea is one point six three crore per second. Would that be sufficient for you? Yes or no? One point six three crore per second. Think big, guys. No, no reaction. I think after this, the greed will uh, enter the scene. This much is sufficient, I think. So, uh, unless how can you be so positive about the entire? Unless you are an adventurous soul. If you are adventurous soul, an adventurous soul, then probably you can crack the cat even in uh, one day. Even it is not cracking. The cat will crack you. So, guys, uh, we are really confused. As a result, we start with half-hearted effort just two or three months before the exams, and you know the result. And the result, you know, I know, we know, and God also knows. If we just start three four months before the exam, uh, barring everything. So guys, when to start now? Uh, your resolutions. I have collected your resolutions, guys. So where and when to start? So whenever we think that from where to start and when to start, then our active mind will come up with various resolutions. So resolution number one is. So I will definitely start with cast preparation after watching Bahubali three, Mowgli four, for sure. After New Year party, great resolution. After February, fourteenth of February, no doubt. It's for sure that after semester exams, I'll start my preparation. Let's wait for the result. Then we'll start. And finally, the July will come, and your placement will happen. And God knows what will happen then. So these are few resolutions that we all uh, generally make uh, before we start. We venture into uh, any challenge. Am I correct or not? Till here, are you getting, guys? Till now you are uh, thinking that what kind of discussion is going on, guys? I'm just uh, venturing into the reality or so. Getting Lalit, Jarina, Durga, Anil, Shreya. So, is it something very close to your real life? Whatever we are discussing, yes or no? <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, then what to do? Jokes apart. So what is the right time, guys? What is the right time? We are always confused. What is the right time to say someone your heart's desires, uh, your uh, right time to go for any place, right time for go for any wish? So right time, there is no definition right time. It is now. It is today itself. So what are you waiting for, guys? And what are your plans? So if, if I say the time has started, your time has started now. You are in your golden uh, time period. So what are your plans? We go blank. So. This is here. Uh, we can help you to uh, strategize your uh, future vision and implementation, also, guys. So, what are the plans? So, journey. So, guys, as we all know, that we have to cross four hurdles for sure. That whenever you want to clear any competitive exam, we have got three or four areas. First is called verbal, that is English language. Second is called LRDI, that we all know. Third is called quantitative aptitude. And fourth one, very, very easy. Because we generally think of written exam. We forget about uh, the next round, which is called GDPI essay writing. Essay writing, most of those IMs have switched over to essay writing rather than uh, your GD. Right? So the journey will start. So this you know, I know. So, but this year, Let's talk about CAT uh, this year, 2018. Verbal language was easy yet tricky. Yet tricky. People came out with that they attempted 28 question, 29 question when CAT came out with its uh, answer uh, keys. So they found uh, you know uh, accuracy only 60, 70 percent, even less than 60, 70 percent. LRDI logical reasoning get impression was tough as usual. Right from the past couple of years, it is coming tough. Now this time, what happened, guys? Those who think that they are James Bond in quantitative aptitude, uh, they are you know a Shakti Man or they are Spider Man of uh, in quantitative aptitude. So quant this time uh, came as bold from blue, and this time quant was very very tough, and can be termed as game changer. How? Let me explain you. What happened actually? So uh, uh, actually. Uh, 
people were able students were able to start the question but somewhere in between they were not able to finish the question so i uh, know many students and those who told me that uh, sir we started with uh, at least 24 question or 34 but we were able to finish only 10 to 12 questions so that's how quad this this year the paper was set by iams calcutta and uh, uh, you know these uh, west bengal people iams calcutta is known for its quantitative aptitude um, um, you know App, um, setting so this time uh, this will this is the story and let's see what will happen next so verbal so guys if we talk about verbal english language it is primarily driven by the understanding alone it's based on reading no cunningness no shrewdness from your side just you have to understand the context well so a few of the areas that primarily you will come in uh, cat would be face in cat rcs reading comprehensions it's not rajma chawal sr it's not shriram it is sentence rearrangement and the third one is very tricky triple os so what is triple os so god knows triple os is odd one out so and fourth type which we come across is summary summary means one paragraph is given odd one out means the fourth third one we are given four or five sentences we have to find out the misfit one sentence arrangement means we have to rearrange the sentences rcs read the passage answer the following questions so guys if you look at these four components in cat you will find these all are driven by understanding no shrewdness no cunningness you have to read you have to understand no shortcut we cannot cut the corners there is a verbal scene and so guys uh, let me ask you this question so uh, in which you are are uh, you are in, uh, what you are doing so you're engineering graduate or you're doing engineering commerce or you're in final year so my point is have you started reading yes or no have you started reading anything else other than your textbooks yes or no i know the answer you also know the answer answer is big no you haven't started anything yet you are just thinking of likewise we discuss in first few slides so what about your vocabulary skills so guys how many of you are really confident about your vocabulary skills let me ask and what about your grammar skills because generally whenever we think of doing mba we think of only cat we forget that we have got other competitive exams also like we have got snap also we have got zat also we have got ift also we have got nmat also cmat also mat also then we have to maharashtra ct also and other such exams also we only think about no doubt in cat so grammar is uh, grammar will not come but without vocabulary guys we are useless we cannot uh, have grip on the uh, language let me tell you let me tell you so kind of over confidence shown by all of us so guys do we know the meaning of the very sweet little word it is called pneumono ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis only heard of this word seen this word do not google the word right now because i cannot say you can see me do not google just try to answer this question have you seen this word before it is pneumono ultra microscopic silico no doubt uh, cat people uh, they never ask this vocabulary so seen this word or, uh, before or not next word which i have asked is uh, or we, we, because we, we are in uh, over confident mood always that uh, it doesn't matter i am born genius i'll be able to clear all the exam next word i have written is flossy nosini elipification heard of these two words enjoying these two words in this weather so uh, by chance you know the meaning of both the words definitely and in our uh, demo class also uh, so and in uh, uh, course of preparation also will tell you how to improve vocab even tricks also right now we have got only one hour so i cannot discuss all the tricks with you so dalit is saying no what about rest of the genius guys nothing to worry about it's just an interactive class yes guys anil jerina is saying also no jerina winston you seem to be from new york jerina actually i am from india yes so guys the the meaning of the first word is is pneumonia heard of the disease by the name of uh, <laughs> just joking jerina uh, we all are from india <laughs> okay uh, so uh, the first word uh, pneumonia heard of the disease by the name of uh, uh, pneumonia yes or no yes we all know the disease pneumono is lung so ultra we know the meaning of ultra also ultra is beyond ultraviolet micro is small scopic is to see silicon in chemistry we know that silicon element volcano we know it's uh, uh, jawalamukhi in your native language 
conio conio is ash particles small ash particles cis wherever you find cis at the end of any word it would be a name of a disease or a process for example photosynthesis is a process and uh, tuberculosis is a disease so it's a lung disease guys caused by inhaling small silicon ash particles erupting out of volcanoes what if we come across six or seven words in like these in um, uh, this particular word in nmat or ift because they they get, they have got specific vocabulary section so next word meaning of the next word you also know we all use this word but in a different version flossy nosini helification it means zero or nothing practically nothing but we do not use all these words while speaking and we should not be using these word these words while speaking because if you start using for example you're enjoying your meal at some restaurant five star restaurant waiter comes up to you and uh, he says that miss or mr uh, anything else you need and you say that uh, no flossy nosini hilly pilification no nothing i'm done with just bring the bill here but uh, you know the poor waiter will faint immediately so uh, this is called overconfidence we are not aware since we are not aware of the problems or challenges that we have to face while preparing or while taking exams so we are overconfident sometimes so let me check let me check your grammar so guys this very simple sentence do we know the meaning of word scintillate scintillate asteroid meaning this is a simple sentence in english no doubt the sentence goes like scintillate scintillate asteroid meaning so guys scintillate until you believe me i can bet on this uh, you know the meaning of this even yeah. guys what was the poem that dedicated to star uh, when we were kids we were taught this poem what is that poem related to stars just write down the chat box is open i can see that is what is that poem guys twinkle twinkle <laughs> okay yeah scintillate is actually chamakna shining it's called twinkle this scintillate is also twinkle therefore similarly asteroid is a star and minim is little but little little uh, twinkle twinkle little star is equal to in complex english it is scintillate scintillate asteroid minim that is what the cat people or any paper setter would uh, do and they'll play with our emotions they'll present the very simple things but point is that our fundamentals are not clear we're not clear with our basics so we uh, get confused while solving uh, these papers so but nothing to worry about we are here to help you out let's move ahead let's check your uh, grammar even so guys uh, what is correct it is me or it's i the three or four sentences right now on your screen it is me slash i he is as fast as i he can run faster than i slash me the principal as well as teachers is oblique are busy nothing to worry about grammar i know we haven't discussed grammar this is very first class interactive class just a chit chat just to clear your few of the queries related to uh, preparation do not worry about the grammar just uh, pick up the answer as per your heart feelings or gut feelings or whatever you call so what is the answer to the first one it is i or it's me i think we'll all go with me it's me the question is it's me first is me uh, durga is saying me in second also i think we'll go with me in third he can run faster than me the principal as well as teachers are all three means and what about the second last guys are and not only principal but also teachers again will go with i suppose i think are you know that's how we go and we'll think don't worry about the grammar leave aside grammar we are not into grammar testing class right now just interactive so guys let's check what grammar says no doubt grammar is not part and parcel of a uh, part and parcel of your cat but it comes in rest of the exams so guys first is i second is also i third is also i and uh, fourth is is and final last one is r not bad guys uh, it is uh, five out one out of five that is what life is all about grammar is all, grammar is all about cat is all about and mat facebook and whatsapp is all about jo hota hai wo dikhta nahi hai jo dikhta hai wo hota nahi hai apparently so guys we do have tricks to explain why i is correct or me is wrong or me is correct or i is wrong but that is what the british grammar is all about 
Am I clear, guys? That's called overconfidence. We think that generally, we, what we do while solving grammar-based questions, we try to match the given sentences that are spoken. And most of us, we speak even I. I also use American English while speaking. You also. Most of us use American English, and we are hardly bothered about I or me. In American English, I and me are interchangeable, and they have stopped using even I. So they generally say, you, uh, while uh, listening these rap songs, you will come across the lines like, me wanna go there, me wanna kill you, me wanna crack cat this year, kind of me. They'll all, uh, you know, uh, use me rather than I. Am I correct? Till here, guys, it's nothing to worry about. Just smile a little, looking at your answers and grammar answers. So guys, uh, let's move ahead. That's what grammar is all about. So we need uh, to learn. To learn, to learn the moral of the story. So, what is, oh, what about quant, LRDI, and there are other areas also. GDP, essay writing also very important for IMS guys. Essay writing instead of taking group discussion, most of them, all the IMS have switched over to essay writing. So we cannot ignore this even writing skills also. And while writing, we cannot write that essay of the greedy dog or the thirsty crow or the Diwali we used to write in our lower classes. We need to have substance in writing and depth in the writing. And depth will come if we spend time on reading. Reading. Uh, I'll ex explain the, ex uh, you know, uh, the importance of reading even. So guys, you haven't answered my question. Uh, uh, do you read newspapers, uh, newspaper and newspaper on a regular basis? Yes or no? Actually, I know the answer just asking for the sake of asking. Do you read any newspaper? Have you started anything on your own to crack any good exam? No. Jerry, a very honest confession. No. And what about rest of the celebrities? No idea. So, haven't given any thought. Literally, when I was uh, of your age, so we were hardly bothered about what is happening around. No doubt, uh, Rahul Gandhi has uh, his party has scored well, done well in three or four other states. Now you can look at the confidence, uh, you know, and the attitude shown by this guy. Otherwise, we all know about his capabilities. So uh, literally, if we do not uh, prepare well, if we do not prioritize, if we do not plan, we'll be called Papu. Uh, no doubt, Modi is called Gappu. Uh, no offenses, guys, uh, but quant. So uh, it's very important to read, read. Uh, start reading newspaper. Uh, let it be of any any uh, title, be it Times of India, be it uh, Hindustan Times, be it any newspaper, English daily from your region. But point is that you have to start reading which particular thing I re should we read. So the very important is first page. The most important is the center spread. But whenever we start reading in a newspaper, uh, you will. I'll explain this in my demo session also, which we are going to conduct uh, in coming Saturday. And uh, then I'll tell you so many tricks related to verbal because here it is a very generic session. So uh, in uh, whenever we start reading any article based on any of the areas, guys. So we are not able to understand the article after a couple of seconds. We'll feel that letters are dancing, Tare Zameen Par and Sare Zameen Par. And we'll uh, faint, we'll have joint days, color blindness, so many rashes on the skin. We have got all uh, the excuses under the sun not to read newspaper. But point is that whenever we read any article, since we are not aware of the background, let's say of the issue, let's say we are reading something, something on Israel-Palestine conflict. I don't know on this planet where the hell Israel is. I don't know where the hell Palestine is and why they are fighting with each other. So when I don't know the background of the issue, there's no point that I'll be able to understand. So make sure that from now onwards, make sure that whenever you read any article and you're not able to understand, make sure that you log on and go to the Google Baba and just write down a summary of the conflict, summary of this issue, summary of uh, the elections in three states. In this two or three paragraphs or less than even one paragraph, you'll get the summary. So make the connection. Likewise, while gossiping, we all enjoy because we know the previous episode. That's why uh, uh, we are interested. We show interest in the next uh, episode in trail. So that's very important, guys. So that's why newspaper will help you. There's no other way out to increase your efficiency in RCs. And without RCs, you cannot think of cracking CAT because in a CAT verbal, there are 34 questions. 24 are based on reading comprehension. So essay writing is very important. So when you read a lot, you find you make your own opinions regarding issues. When you have, uh, when you start making your own opinions and you have got uh, the substantial knowledge of uh, the issues, you will write substantial. You will draft elegant points. And in the interview also, you'll be able to impress IAMS interview takers. 
that's how the reading is very important so guys uh, quant so major area this time dominated uh, dominated this time were algebra geometry time speed distance time and work and logs all the questions were looking very easy but they were all twisted so uh, student found that it was easier to start the question this time but it's very difficult to finish but why we are discussing this we haven't faced this so guys the point is that uh, quant so you need to learn how to convert first of all uh, technique is you need to learn how to convert any question into doable form and then we can think of applying shortcut no matter how intelligent how smart you are in quantitative aptitude mathematics but this time even you know guys from iits and you know other top notch colleges uh, james bond in the field of quantitative aptitude they all went down so they all you know fainted while solving only few of them were able to face this challenge so what it needs it needs time guys the very important thing is we need to spend time in learning fundamentals then application there is no point we need time and where is the time here is the time this is the time and this is a high time to start with the preparation it needs time very obvious so if i talk about uh, lrdi the one again simple common factor is only with time and practice you can gain confidence in this section otherwise this section is one of the toughest for the past couple of years it is one of the toughest section in cat so again it needs time verbal rcs comes from rcs come from diverse area guys look at uh, i'll show you uh, cat slot one morning a few of the areas on which rcs were based for one of one of them was based on epigenetics science uh, one of them was based on importance of war memorial sociology based on plastic pollution science and technology based on happiness versus government obligation again uh, rules regulation sociology and behavior and fifth was based on traumatic stress faced by the elephants so again animals so two lessons are very very important guys now listen carefully one it is very important in verbal in order to score well it is very important for us to understand the context questions were no doubt seemingly very easy but options were very close and familiarity with jargon guys do we know the meaning of the word jargon jargon is pronounced as jargon in american english and jargon in british or indian english so guys what do you mean by the word jargon what is jargon any 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 idea from your side guys jargon is you are googling right now i'll write down uh, write it directly jargon is technical word yeah technical thank you shreya technical vocabulary or technical words so guys if you are reading anything based on uh, sociology or politics <coughs> sorry if i am aware of few of the words related to this particular field for example uh, do we know what do you mean by the right parties parties which are right which never go wrong what are right parties what are left parties what are central parties what are right parties which party would be called right party right parties in sociology or politics means those who are fundamentalist by nature for example in india we can call bjp shiv sena etc no offenses otherwise uh, but they are called right parties fundamentalist left parties uh, driven by communist ideologies they are called left parties and secular parties uh, central parties uh, those who are liberal in their approach now if i know about the right word right wingers left wingers and central wingers and in, in rc uh, moving around these three words if i am not aware of these three words i am gone that's what we call jargon let me show you few more examples just watch do not panic my purpose is not to scare you scare hell out of you just to show you the reality that why do we need to start early few of the reasons so guys for example so this was one of the question that i picked up uh, from the morning slot this time so guys if you uh, read this question we have to summarize we have to pick up the choice which can summarize this paragraph so guys after you are done with reading this slide press r show so that i can show you the next slide read take your time first part of this uh, paragraph this is only one paragraph broken into two after you are done with reading uh, press please press r so that i can move on to next again science based a little after you are done with reading please press r so that i can show you the next one
Yes, guys. Only four or five lines. Okay, done. Uh, Durga done. I think rest of also. So, guys, uh, the next uh, remaining part of this. Yes, please. Remaining part of this uh, question. Till genetic identical. That's it. Keep the first stuff also, first part also in your mind and read this now. After you're done with reading, press R. Simple paragraph, how twins generally are born. Okay. Uh, honey, uh, welcome honey. Just saw your name. Good evening. I think you just joined. No doubt we'll send you the recording of this session also to all nine of you. Those who are attending the session will send you the recording also of the session so that you can watch this session again and think of few points. So guys, uh, the time has come to show you the choices. We have to summarize it. Pick up the choice which is summarizing this entire situation. So let me show you the choices. No doubt in the paper you will find uh, this uh, all the choices in the you know on the same screen. But okay, guys, these are the three or four choices. So guys, uh, your take on this, we have to pick up, summary means pick up the choice which is summarizing all the ideas, discuss in the passage, not inference actually. Since I cannot see the choices, so I have to, uh, you know, so guys, your take, don't, don't worry. Why are you worrying? Pick up your choice. It is not one, it is not four. Answer is either two or three. Now tell me. Answer is either two or three. It's not one. It's not four. Absolutely marvelous, Durga, Jarena. Believe me, you all are born genius. Do not underestimate your abilities. Good. You're scoring well, guys. So one more question. One more question. Just after that, we'll move on to our discussion as usual. So this one. After you're done with the reading, please press R uh, so that I can show you the third one. The answer to the previous question was third. Very good. All of you. Great. Yeah, it was three. Do not worry about that. How come it was three? Why not it is two? Do not worry. We haven't discussed anything. We haven't learned anything. So why to worry? Just read this question now. I haven't uh, told you any tricks related to solve any question. So after you're done with this, please press R. Landscaping. The keyword here is landscaping. First occurred in Europe related to three-dimensional uh, structurization of organism, particularly geometric objects. Three-dimensional, not three-dimensional, just an example. It's just European idea. Okay, done with the reading of this part. Then he's talking about that uh, it is no coincidence that Renaissance artists such as Leonardo da Vinci who studied the structure of human body also facilitated means ease the understanding of the structure of landscape. Landscape which had been subordinate background to religious or historical narratives initially earlier times became an independent genre or type or subject of art by the end of 16th century or at the beginning of 17th century. That's how it happened. Got this guys? Should I show you the choices? Yes or no? Just press S if you're done with this. Don't worry. Just to tell you the, the trickiness and the closeness among the choices. 
so guys these are the four choices thank god on the same screen now what i uh, my purpose of uh, picking this question so guys this time most of the students went with fourth option the three dimensional understanding etc etc they went with fourth option which is wrong in the passage he is saying that renaissance artist aided the development of uh, the subject called landscape they didn't push anything three dimensional is just an example it cannot be the summary of summary is a collection of main points so guys it has to be two very good lalit so but this time that's how we go that's how they set paper they set close options so it is very important to spend time in reading and practicing and understanding the concepts behind my purpose was only this not to uh, scare you or frighten you so guys moving on to the next so am i clear till here to all of you guys those nine students eight students on board now i don't know where ninth has gone so guys the uh, enough about cat enough about cat what about other exams they generally include topics such as grammar we do have grammar in other exams also we have got sentence completion also correction also and critical verbal reasoning also i'm not talking about math because in math you talk about cat or any other exam you'll find all the topics be it algebra arithmetic mensuration geometry trigonometry number system but in verbal ability slight variation you will see so what obviously these topics also need your time i'm talking about critical reasoning verbal reasoning correction so in in addition to reading we also have to focus on these areas as well in order to score well in other exams also but uh, because there is no point in putting all the eggs in one basket why to rely only on cat no doubt cat covers all your major good institutions but there are other exams also we need to take care of other exams also we need to maximize our cho cho choices if we have studied probability then it is uh, favorable over total chances we need to increase our, uh, the number of favorable chances so they need time again the common factor always keep in mind the time is coming guys so example one more example guys uh, just you have to tell me the uh, opposite of the word highlighted in bold so guys look at the word i'm sure that we haven't seen this word before just look at the word generally you'll find this in and math first of all tell me have you seen this word before carbonatic seem to be one electronic uh, item i don't know how many of you are from science background and commerce background and humanities background so guys since we don't know the meaning of this word then there is no point in guessing even in tenims so i have to leave this word so a carbonatic is one who is agitated and uh, disturbed so its opposite would be one who is not disturbed or calm and calm is only fourth choice just wanted to show you the silliness silliness and uh, strangeness in the questions so if you are not aware of then we are gone let me show you one more example guys this you can try uh, i can bet this you can try read and try to pick up your answer we have to uh, tell the meaning of the word prevaricate this is what you uh, what you should have a skill you should have in you while reading rcs also while reading newspaper also so prevaricate he has given the situation containing this word and we have to guess the meaning of the word prevaricate do not google guys just try to guess the contextual meaning then again come back to the agenda yes. just tell me the answer option take your time so the question says that let me help you when video was played back uh, she was asked to explain her presence she was caught and she was there in the video and when she was asked to explain her presence in the video she started prevaricating now we have to find out the meaning third what is third i can't see but let lying furiously no you are there she is lying no doubt all of the throwing tantrums cannot be the answer to this question throwing tantrum is nakhre dikhana you know uh, 
to show your attitude. So if she was not showing attitude. She started prevaricating means she see the situation. The context says that you are caught red-handed. You are there in the video, and when you are asked to explain your presence, what you will do? You will start saying uh, misleading the uh, interrogator. You will start saying here, here and there that this is not me. This might duplicate. Uh, you have got some sort of misunderstanding. So it is not lying furiously. Lying is fine, but furiously. You cannot show your fury or anger. You're caught. You're gone. So fourth, third is gone. And it cannot be speaking violently. One who has asked the question, you start beating that guy. How come you th can think that you can think of that uh, I am here? And you start beating that person. God forbid. And uh, it is lying evasively. Evasively means in evasive manner. In an evasive manner. You will start saying here and there and you will start misleading. Answer to this is one. So that's how uh, the contextual vocabulary is very important. You read and you understand. Your mind should be able to decode whatever you are reading. That's very important. Don't worry. Answer to this is one, guys. Jargon. So, guys, look at the few silly words I have picked up for you. Jargon. Let's say if you come across these words, for example, the words are stoicism, orientalism, occidentalism, pragmatism, absolutism, existentialism, logical positivism. So if you are given these words in RC, what you will do? This kind of situation similar to what you will do if you come across, if you confront Loin. If you see Loin in front of you, we shall be helpless. All the options are with Loin. We cannot do. We will be so scared that we will not be able to run away from the situation. You look at these words, you will smile, you will have smile on your faces and just click selfie with these words and move ahead. We are helpless, but on the other hand, if we know a little bit about these words, even a little, I think that we shall be able to solve RC, I think, decent. A am I clear till here? Do you agree with me? Yes or no, guys? How many of the words you know here? Don't know, I think. That's how cat people, paper setters, other paper setters, they play with our emotions. You're just uh, sweet, innocent kids with some minor innocent wishes. So guys, uh, these all are philosophies. So just give you one, uh, one, one tip regarding each. Stoicism means when person is above joys and sorrows of the world, likewise shown by saints, sadhu log. Orientalism is philosophy mindset followed by Asian people. We believe in spirituality more than in materialism. Occidentalism is a mindset followed by Western people. They believe in materialism, then in spirituality. Pragmatism is being practical. Absolutism means you believe that there's only one uh, power controlling this universe. Existentialism is, you think that whatever is existing is true, whatever is not existing is false. Logical positivism means, there is. Uh, if the question is logical, then we can solve the question. If question is illogical, then we cannot solve the question. So guys, now you know the meaning of these words a little. So now you will feel confident in solving RCs. Am I correct or not? Yes or no? Press yes or no. Now we are know a little bit about these meaning. They, they, they were seemingly difficult before. Thus, three seconds, uh, 30 seconds before, earlier. Now we know about these words and probably uh, let them come in any RC, let them come in an article, let them come in any paper. We shall be able to for sure. So that's how uh, the reading is important, vocabulary is important. So what about other steps, guys? So it's very unfortunate. It would be very unfortunate. Uh, let's say if we clear written exam. And we are not able to fare well in GDs, group discussion, personal interviews, and essay writing. So, and if you look at the common factor in these three exercises, is your personality, not the outward appearance, but your thought process, what we call personality, 95%. And uh, the way you express yourself, the way you handle, uh, uh, way you have handled your life till now, your extracurricular, the how you present yourself. So need content. The ultimate point is we need content here also to fare well because you'll be competing with the people from all over India. They all are at same level. When you clear written exam, that means you all are well read. You uh, know most of the things happening around and you have to compete. You have to take that seat for yourself uh, from that particular group. So need that content. Content means the matter. Matter should be with you and without reading, without spending time, without thinking, without putting efforts, we are useless. So second step is as important as the first step because it would be very, very sad if you're not able to score well. There's no point in cracking return, scoring well in return if you haven't prepared for 
GDPs and they need time because whenever we think of MBA, we think of quant, we think of vocabulary, we think of RCs. We forget about the second step is as important as the first one. So uh, not to forget the GK part. See guys, GKs nowadays, uh, mo in most of the people except CAT and NMAT, you will find GK, general knowledge, general awareness in most of the exams like IFT, ZAT, very difficult, IFT also difficult. Even I've seen that, must have seen even your seniors also. Students are generally not able to clear the cutoff. Let me tell you about the cutoff in IFT in instead of foreign trade exam last year. So per question marks 0.5. The cutoff was 0.83 last year. 0.83 means only two questions. You were supposed to uh, uh, attempt two questions correct. 0 0.5, 0 0.51 and cutoff was students were not able to, most of the students were not able to score, uh, get uh, two questions correct. So how will you explain this? means you were not all serious uh, you were not bothered about uh, the second step you were you think that it's only academic exam that you cram the stuff and vomit out the stuff during the exam it is not your regular exam guys so you need to be very very smart and you need to plan your preparation so gk is very important and by default if you are in touch with any good news channel let, let it be times now or any good channel and reading any newspaper for sure you'll be able to clear so guys, in GDPIs on essays also, you need substance and relevance. So for example, if the topic is woman empowerment and we have to say something on woman empowerment, then it should whatever points we write or speak should be relevant to the woman empowerment. I cannot say the topic is woman empowerment and we are saying about Dhokla or Jalebi or Rava Masala Dosa. No big deal. You think that is no big deal? But we are terribly mistaking. It is a big deal, guys. GDP essay as important as step number one. So what we do, what sh what we need, we need time. Time because uh, in single day we cannot cover the entire GK. We cannot com compare the cover the entire world and all their problems, all its problem. So we need time. Time is again con uh, common factor, guys. Till now. So to hone your skills, you need to practice mock test. Again, you're saying it's no big deal. Once we join, we'll be able to. But point is, it also needs time. But do we have enough time? The very big question which is coming to our mind is, do we have enough time? Yes, guys. Do we have enough time to go for CAT 19 this year? Right now? Or if you start in the month of uh, uh, July or August, you will have enough time. So what do you have to say? Right now or July, August? So what do you have to say now? Yes, yes, yes. The only point is I'm making, trying to make from my side is now. Now it's the right time to start to get into your dreams and to go whatever you want to. So more of the story, guys, start as soon as possible. Start as soon as. I'm not saying that after the end of this session, you go and uh, talk to our counselor and uh, take admission. Take your time, one or two days. Uh, again, watch the recorded version of this video, right? This class next morning or day after and decide because uh, things seem pretty simple on paper while planning when it comes to implementation they need time effort and very very strong willpower very strong willpower that you have to manage your regular studies also i don't know how many of your regular student guys just press student st or working means wk how many of your students st or uh, working uh, Durga is working. So again, guys, uh, Durga, if you're working also, then, you know, uh, if you're in a government job, then fine, you can manage, you can take time uh, out for preparation. But if you're in private job and in private jobs, you know that uh, it's 9 to X schedule. Lalit, but you have completed your uh, studies and you are still free. So you are at the, uh, you know, I would say, uh, biggest advantage or you're standing at the vantage point. You've got all the time under the sun in the world to go for preparation. And uh, in private jobs, you can ask Durga that uh, how difficult it is to manage uh, the job preparation with the job even. And students for for students also the story would remain the same. So point is that we have got only 24 hours in a day. We sleep for eight hours. Uh, we have uh, we have to take lunch, dinner, breakfast, and other such stuff. Uh, add four hours, eight plus four, twelve. So if you have to, if you are on this earth for the 80 years, 40 years will be uh, gone. Will definitely go towards sleeping and eating we have left with only 40 years in 40 years till 23 years you'll be studying so we are left with only 17 years to make or break let it be me 
who is taking your class let it be you let it be ambani let it be adani so we have got only 13 20, 13 15 years to reach wherever we want to so time is very important guys so do not miss any opportunity do not think any uh, you know uh, deep into when to start where to start just start start the ignition car will start running so start as soon as possible guys as soon as possible so do not worry so guys uh, for you people and uh, we have created a demo account you just just have to create a demo account just to get the feel of this product or the cat classes uh, will will give you access to two live classes and will give you three demo classes also anyone can visit and attend demo classes you get the feel of this feel of this yes lalit definitely uh, we uh, even 50% uh, 40 to 50% of the students are generally dropper uh, when they crack any such exam so this there is no crime they should not feel any guilt regarding dropping the year and preparing for we have got n number of genuine reasons also because of medical uh, problem because of the financial constraint because of family issues because of let's say even supplementary because of let's say we were not able to prepare one of the subjects so there is no point they just want to know that you how uh, you uh, prioritize how you strategize and how you spend your time uh, were you doing something very constructive or destructive or just sitting idle and watching uh, you know bahubali and uh, netflix nowadays jio has given access to netflix also so yes if you you score well if your uh, acads are fine let's say even decent and your curriculars are fine and at the time of gd interviews if you present your thought process in a way so that they judge the depth in you or you know the substance in you you are in have i answered your question galit so from now onwards this is a 925 by my watch from now onwards do not have any guilt regarding your dropping uh, the drop year am i clear just with positive mind and all faith in your abilities all of you start preparation i'm not saying go for it whatever you have in your mind regarding your career go for that do not worry about the future plan your future everything else would be taken care of uh see janina uh if you go for cat then cat preparation will cover 95% of your gmat i would say 96% only 4% variation is your one integrated reasoning which is combination of rc yes uh, they they both can be prepared uh, at the same time because cat covers uh, uh 95 96% of gmat uh, the only difference is in gmat maths is simple and in cat maths is little difficult otherwise if you look, compare the verbal the verbal is little higher in gmat and lower in cat that's only difference yes we can prepare have i answered your question jarina if you are thinking of you can uh, work for cat because uh, no doubt gmat uh, if you have got work x with you uh, i don't know are you working jarina you have got work x okay no but uh, for gmat uh, jarina we need work x 2 uh, to 3 years you are a student then if you are uh, preparing for cat by default you are preparing 96% you have covered or you will cover 96% of the uh, gmat syllabus once you get into any job and after 3 4 years but uh, why to worry about gmat prepare for cat go for iims a b c and fms there are so many good colleges around so don't worry think of gmat after uh, you uh, realize that you are not able to Uh, score well in these exams but i'm damn confident that you'll be able to score if you start now yes uh, we'll post uh, this uh, recorded version to all of you all nine of you those who are attending the session so you want to leave anil or you want to listen again so uh, guys you can create this demo account i was discussing this and uh, you can attend the classes and this is the url in uh, uh, if you look at the recorded version tomorrow and you will uh, okay you want to listen again anil uh, fine thank you so uh, you can log on to this url uh, htmbahitbulldog.com online courses demo php and you can register yourself and you will we'll give you access to two or three live classes to get the feel of actually this is what we are discussing right now but if you attend and get the feel of then you will be more confident i suppose so do not worry about so guys uh, register yourself for the demo classes uh lalit and to all of you guys uh, uh, see cat uh, primarily uh, gave rcs uh, from new york times editorials 
Guardian, the newspaper, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, magazine like The Economist. So start reading The Guardian editorials and New York Times editorial. Believe me, you'll be able to cover 90% of the stuff. From uh, as of now, this this much is fine. Have I answered your question, Lalit? But you can uh, get access to uh, the Economist and the Guardian and the uh, New York Times online. Okay. So, uh, guys, one important discovery by Yale University. They uh, they found that nine uh, Yale University, one of the one of the prominent universities on this planet Earth. So, ninety seven percent of the humans, we all are human beings, do not set goals for themselves. And fortunately, leaders belong to other three percent i'm not talking about uh, bjp or congress but leaders leaders means achievers whatever you think about yourself in this life and you achieve that you are leader you are winner you want to become professor in your life you want to become a research scientist you want to become an actor or an actress you want to become chef you want to manage companies whatever you want to set one goal go for it wholeheartedly and if you achieve that you'll be called leader and if you fail that but if you fail then also don't worry you will not regret that uh, uh, you tried your level best but somehow you didn't get much success but you will regret uh, at the end of the day when you think that you didn't try because you got scared so fortune favors the brave guys one more discovery think about it uh, some novels yes you can visit so in demo class, while taking demo class, uh, Lalit, you uh, come and we'll tell you the names. But right now you can start with Anne Rand or uh, Dan Brown novels. So read read nonfiction, first of all. Because nowadays your favorite, all of you are love going for uh, 51 Shades of Grey. And that is fine for entertainment but will not serve any purpose. So think about it, guys. You need to... Uh, uh, you need to plan and strategize wisely. It is uh, it's a difficult task to achieve good uh, score. Other yeah, then it would be not uh, the difficult task to achieve a good score. And planning early, starting early, not staring. Sorry, uh, my bad. But this uh, let me correct here. Starting, starting early helps in planning. We should have enough time. Let's see if I am driving at the speed of 120 in on the busy road. If something, if by chance something happens, I'll not be able to control. But if I am driving at the speed of 40 kilometers per hour, I've, I'll be having enough time to manage any mishap. That's what life is all about. If you start early, then you'll have enough time to plan your life to the turns uh, that you want to take in your life and you, you have, you'll have all the time under the sun in this world to prioritize the things even. So point is the time and time is very limited guys. We can control everything. We can increase our understanding. We can increase our uh, intelligence. We can learn anything on this planet earth but we cannot control time. Time is only limiting constraint for all human beings. So take the good advantage of whatever you have. Uh, because you are smart enough, you all are intelligent enough, you all are well educated, you've got all resources at your disposal. What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for uh, some God messengers, God's messenger from heaven and will come to you, will whisper in your ear, uh, see mister, you are destined for Howard. See miss, you are destined for Howard. Why are you sleeping? So this will not happen. Even Santa Claus will also not help. They help kids and you are all have grown up. So guys, keep in mind always, if you want to shine like a sun, we need to learn how to burn like a sun. We all want to shine like sun. We all want that the world should see uh, how well we are shining, but we don't want to burn ourselves. means we do not have so willpower, uh, patience and discipline and consistency to achieve our goal. Am I correct or not? We all want all the best thing in this world but just uh, think that how many of you are uh, we are really working for it so Lilith, i have i answered your question some novels non-fiction dan brown you can start with Anne Rand or dan brown then we have got evelyn toffler also uh, atlas shrugged start with atlas shrugged 
and then I, when, when, uh, one name I can also tell you Freakonomics Atlas Shrugged or Freakonomics you can start with that am I clear Lalit? so if you want to shine like a sun first learn how to burn like a sun we should have fusion in us the energy so guys uh, the time has come to wind up this session I hope uh, first of all thank you all uh, for showing patience and coming to my session attending my session so guys uh, did I help you were you able to understand few of the things we discussed or uh, you are you are very angry right now and you want to kill me you don't have the control but you want to kill me so guys decide take your time consult your consult your uh, mentors teachers and to your soul even that's what you want to do and as soon as you decide we are there to help you first you have to decide you have to take the first step rest leave upon us so guys uh, in uh, you're welcome Alin always and uh, just an interactive session I uh, thought uh, we should keep and we should chat with our uh, future experienced managers even prime ministers and uh, finance ministers so I just kept one hour session uh, just to chat with you otherwise I could have taken only sim straight away demo class and told you few tips regarding how to prepare for CAT but I kept it uh, very simple and you know, we should have motivation first fire in first uh, fire in us so guys uh, definitely will get the recorded session thank you once again and for bearing with me the time has come to have our dinner and boys don't go for uh, excess of C2H5OH weather is quite chilly here I don't know about the weather at your place but enjoy smile and you know what everything in your favor your age your parents and someone else's parents also they are also uh, making device and prayers for you and uh, your God even me bullseye we all are with you we all are one family now thank you guys and give your best shot life na milegi dobara zindagi na milegi dobara uh, so time has come to wind up this session guys uh, should I wind up now or you're still interested uh, in listening uh, these kind of you know, chit chat so but time constraint is there guys uh, we should know we should learn to respect time if you start respecting time time will start respecting us it's not about uh, wearing brands and purchasing uh, you know wearing flaunting brands it is about literally you need to learn how to respect time time is constantly running we cannot control the only thing is that we can have the best shot so thank you Keshav and uh, but you will get the recorded version and the time has come to wind up this session guys uh, just chillax I'm switching off my mic and this is your host Rajiv Markande and see you next time around guys and just watch your favorite movie watch your uh, you know uh, listen your favorite song it has to be something something very very heavy metal or uh, something very soothing like Jaggi Singh Tum itna kyu muskura rahe ho kya gama jo chupa rahe ho uh, I'm with you I know that you are going through your 357th breakup but don't worry jo gaya ho aega bhi have faith so guys uh, once again jokes apart good night and just chillax <laughs>